Hello everyone, bye guys here and welcome back to another video. How's it going? Everything okay? Good to have a good great day every day with a smiling face, so smile a bit and keep continuing. In this video, we are going to look at the Nikon T7200 and see what are all these buttons for. On top of the camera we have the control panel, metering mode and also format button which it marked with red sign here and here. You know pressing these two buttons together for a few seconds for formatting the SD card. Then we have move record button, exposure compensation button and also reset button which it marked with green dots here and here. Press and hold the both buttons together for a few seconds to reset the setting. Then on and off button and control panels LED light with shutter button in the middle. Microphone over here. This is the mode dial and this button in the middle is the mode dial's unlock button. Press and hold to change the mode dial. This small ring here is release mode dial and this button in the corner is release mode dial's unlock button. Press and hold to select single photo, continuous low, continuous high quiet shutter, timer, and mirror up mode. At the back of the camera from this corner, we have infrared receiver, speaker, info button, live view switch with live view button in the middle. Memory card access light. And this is the focus selectors lock switch multi-selector with OK button in the middle. Main command dial, auto exposure and auto focus lock button. Here we have the viewfinder and top corner of the viewfinder we have diopter adjustment to set the viewfinder for your eyesight. Then we have delete and format button, playback button. Under that we have the menu button. Then we have white balance, help and protecting image button. Locking photos for protecting your favorite images from deleting. Under that we have zoom and image quality change button. This button is for zooming out changing metering mode, changing ISO, and reset setting mode. And the last one is info button. Let's see what do we have in front of the camera. Here we have sub command dial, autofocus assist lamp. It helps autofocus in low light situation and also blinks when you are using the self timer. I think I put it in 10 seconds. So get ready, smile and capture. This is the PV or previous button as it mentioned over here. Here we have FN or function button. You can set this button to any setting that you use a lot. Flash pop-up button, bracketing button, lens release button. The last one is focus mode selector. In the middle we have the mode selector button. Just press and hold to change the setting with command dial and sub command dial. Around that we have autofocus and manual focus switch button. On the right side of the camera, we have microphone, USB, HDMI, headphone, and accessory port socket. On the other side, we have two memory card plays. Finally, at the bottom of the camera, we have the battery plays, tripod or monopod socket, and battery grip connection plays. at the aperture. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel to see more videos. If you have any question or even a suggestion, please tell me in the comments down below. And like always,
Have a great shooty day. Good.